Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. Today we're going to look at the roguelite adventure, Escape Dungeon 2, available for PC and Mac on Steam. Escape Dungeon 2 is a well-polished turn-based dungeon dive that utilizes the Saxon Defeat mechanic similar to the Rady or Escalator series. As you delve deeper, there are unlockable scenes based on the monsters that defeat you. Don't worry though, with each replay you are able to collect memory shards to upgrade your character's stats in between dive attempts. You are also able to unlock all the scenes through alternate paths that don't require specific depths. Graphically, Escape Dungeon 2 uses cute chibi style characters for the dungeon delving part of the game, with animated 2D art and sound for the sexual interactions. The MC is fully voiced and there are various cutscenes that drive the plot. The soundtrack is decent and has a fantasy style theme that fits with the game's overall vibe. Flavor-wise, this is a female protagonist game that focuses on monsters and power exchange. There are also monster girls, BDSM, magic, demons, Futanari, clothing damage, and the crushing inequity that comes with monarchical power systems. Overall, I'm on the fence about Escape Dungeon 2. It looks good and it's obvious that a lot of work went into polishing the game from an art and animation standpoint, but it feels a lot like a mobile game. The repetitive nature of the dungeon dives with incremental overall improvement feels really grindy. The power creep of the monsters as you delve deeper jumps from gradual to very sudden in multiple places. This can make some of your defeats instant and unfulfilling. It is still, however, a solid game with actual gameplay, so I totally see why it is so popular on Steam. So if you enjoy Rogue Light Adventures and appreciate a monster-filled sex on defeat mechanic, I recommend giving Escape Dungeon 2 a shot. There is enough gameplay and unlockable sexual content to keep you occupied for hours. Let me know what you think. How do you feel about dungeon dives? I mean, wouldn't it just be better to nuke the entire site from orbit? It's the only way to be sure. And until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.